lesson we are going to discuss about general plane motion. As I have informed in the previous lecture that general plane motion uh, consists of both translation and rotation. So in this case, the rigid body has undergone both translation and rotation. As, as you can see here, at time t, this rigid body, uh, the position of this rigid body is here and at time t plus dt, dt indicates the change of time. The rigid body has not only translate to here but also rotate into its final position here. So we can draw the displacement of the point on the rigid body. Say that we have two points on the rigid body. This is point A and this is point B. If we draw the displacement of point A, this is indicated by DRA. RA is the position vector of point A and DRA means uh, the change of position vector of point A. This is the initial position point A. This is the final position of point A. So this red vector here indicates the change of position vector of point A. We can draw the same position vector of point B that is indicated by DRB. Uh, and also we can draw the, the position vector of point B with respect to point A, which is RB slash A for the initial position. We can also draw RB slash A for the final position and we denote with an apostrophe here means that this is RB slash A for the final position of the rigid body. Now, if we can separate the motion of the rigid body into two phases, the first one is the translation of the rigid body. So in this case, the rigid body has translate from its original position to this intermediate position. In this case, the displacement of all particles in a rigid body during translation is the same. So by saying that, we are saying that the displacement of point A and the displacement of point B in the first phase, in the translation phase, is the same. Therefore, we can say that up here is DRA. Down here, it is DRB, which is also equal to DRA. And then we can draw RB slash A here and also here at the intermediate position. RB slash A is the position vector of point B with respect to point A. In the second phase, the rigid body has undergone rotation about a fixed axis. In this case, the fixed axis is at point A. Point A becomes the axis of rotation. Now, the rigid body has an angular velocity omega and also has an angular acceleration of alpha. And remember, uh, I have already mentioned about this in the previous lesson that we always take counterclockwise rotation as positive and clockwise rotation as negative. So let's say that the bottom part here, we take it as DRA and this part here is DRB slash A. So for the final position, we can draw the position of point B with respect to point A uh, prime, indicating that this is the final position. So this is RB slash A prime, and here is RB slash A. So here, since here is RB slash A, and this uh, vector here is RB slash A prime, therefore this is the change of RB slash A or indicated by DRB slash A. This means that it is the change of position of point B with respect to point A. Initially, point B is here at the intermediate phase and at the final phase of the motion, point B has moved here. So this is the change of point B from point A with respect to point A. So this is DRB slash A. Now, we can then draw 
the change of position of point B from its original position. This is the original position of point B and then point B has traveled up to this point. This is the final position of point B. So this becomes DRB. Now down here is DRA, here is DRB, and here is DRB slash A. See that this has formed a vector triangle. And from this vector triangle, we can write an equation that is DRB is equal to DRA, the red vector, plus drb slash a the green vector so this is the equation that we can derive from this vector triangle now let's say we differentiate this all of this element over time so what we get is drb over dt equals to dra over dt plus drb slash a over dt what is the change of displacement over time dr over dt is indeed equal to the velocity. So this equation, we can rewrite it as vb equal to va plus vb slash a. So drb over dt is equal to vb, dra over dt is va, drb slash a over dt is vb slash a. Now let's take a look at this two terms here. The first term represents the translation. Remember, we have separated the motion into two phases. The first phase is the translation phase and the second phase is the rotation which is represented by VB slash A. So, the equation here VB equals to VA that represents translation and VB slash A represents rotation. Now, let's take a look at this equation further. Now, remember that VB slash A represents rotation. Now, from our previous lesson, we know that the velocity of a point on a rotating rigid body is given by omega cross R. So, basically, in this case, VB slash A is equal to omega cross RB slash A. Now, then we can substitute this term here back into this equation to get the final equation to calculate a velocity of a point on a rigid body undergoing general plane motion, that is VB equals to VA plus omega cross RB slash A. This is the equation to calculate the velocity of point B on a rigid body undergoing general plane motion. We can then differentiate the previous equation once again over time so that we can get d2rb over dt square equal to d2ra over dt square plus d2rb slash a over dt square and d2r over dt square is indeed equal to the acceleration so in this case this becomes a b this becomes a a and finally, this becomes AB slash A. Now, just like the velocity, the first term here represents translation and the second term represents the rotation motion. So, remember from our previous lesson that the acceleration of a point on a rotating rigid body is given by alpha cross RB slash A minus omega square times rb slash a. This omega here, note that it does not have an arrow on top which means that it is scalar quantity. So then we can substitute this value in here but before that, remember from our previous lesson that this part here represents tangential acceleration and this part here represents the normal acceleration. And then now we can substitute this term here into this a b slash a to get the final equation to calculate the acceleration of a point on a rigid body undergoing general plane motion that is a b equal to a a plus alpha cross r b slash a minus omega square times r b slash a 
Now let's take a look at this rigid body here. This yellow rigid body has two points on it, point A and point B, and it is currently undergoing rotation of omega AB and angular acceleration of alpha AB. So the position vector is always drawn from the reference point. In this case, if we want to calculate the velocity of point B, then we set point A as the reference point. And therefore, we can draw a position vector of point B with respect to A, RB slash A. Then we can get the equation VB equals to VA plus omega AB cross RB slash A. And for AB, it is equal to AA plus alpha AB cross RB slash A minus omega square times RB slash A. Let's say we want to calculate the velocity and acceleration of point A. Now we set point B as the reference point. Now the position vector becomes RA slash B. Now B is the reference point and A is the, the arrow head is pointing at point A. And therefore, we get equation of VA equals to VB plus omega AB cross RA slash B. And the same goes for acceleration AA equals to AB plus alpha AB cross RA slash B minus omega square AB times RA slash B. Now, let's say we have two rigid bodies connected to each other at point A. So, we have rigid body, yellow rigid body and we have another blue rigid body that is spin connected at point A. So in this case point A does not only belongs to the yellow rigid body but point A also belong to the blue rigid body. So we can then draw another position vector of point A from point C or with respect to point C. Then from here we can derive another equation of VA is equal to VC plus omega AC cross RA slash C. And the same goes for acceleration. AA is equal to AC plus alpha AC cross RA slash C minus omega square AC times RA slash C.